What's up? Just pay my phone bill. No fucks, red, blue, pop, both pills. I'm up, still shop at Goodwill. Shut up, I'll sign my own deal. I see London, I see friends. Your girl in her underpants. She said I'm a better man. Okay, so I just got this big Arc'teryx order. And I was told I should do an unboxing on it. And there's a backpack in there, the Arc'teryx Alpha SK32. And I haven't seen that many reviews, so maybe I'll post this. Give some more people the opportunity to see it. What it looks like, kind of a bit more besides what's on the website. So yeah, I kind of already opened it, but you know, oh well, it is what it is. So, first things first, before we get to the backpack. Arc'teryx Adam LT in black. That one's actually not for me. So I can show you guys mine. Just in case you didn't know what it looks like. It's kind of like a black light material. Put it down. Alright, so I'll do a quick voiceover, show you guys what this looks like on body. I think it'd be one of my favorite jackets for the fall. It's not exactly the warmest jacket ever. It's definitely not gonna be warm enough for any severe winters like if you're up north but it's pretty nice i like it super comfortable super cozy and yeah if you're in a bc climate it's gonna be great for that it's water resistant not fully waterproof but it does have a full hood that goes up nice by my chin and i do really like the cinch that it has in the back there also just synthetic down but unlike normal down jackets instead of having baffles it is full panels of down so next up, I have this grotto beanie. It's pretty sick. It's in like the violet sand colorway. If that's wrong, I'll correct it, put it up on screen, but yeah, violet sand colorway, grotto beanie. All right, so next up, we've got my balaclava. This is the Arc'teryx Row Lightweight Wool Balaclava. It's in the small medium size. I think it fits me pretty well. I've got like a 22.5 inch diameter head and it seems to work for me. So I'll show that to you guys on head. Just hold on a minute. It's actually got a ponytail pocket in the back there. So no, no, pockets are a little slip. So if you're a woman and you got long hair or if you're a dude, you got long hair, there you go. That's for you or you know, have your slut strands on the front. Let's get this on. So there you go. That's how that fits. It's nice and long actually, so it goes right down to about my shoulders and down in front so my jacket can come up around there. And this front piece, this mouthpiece is actually separated from the top. So if you wanna pull that down, you're good. Unfortunately, I don't have any goggles right now to show you guys what that looks like with them, but I can imagine they'd fit pretty smoothly. Maybe I'll do an update video or add some photos. But yeah. Currently I'm using the Oakley Flight Deck XLs and I'm sure those would fit nice and big right over there. All right guys, last but not least, we've got the bag itself. The Arc'teryx SK32 in the black colorway. There you go. So I'm not 100% sure on the material. It's seen, I'm pretty sure it's hadron on the sides there, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But my favorite part about this pack is that it has two nice side entry panels there. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but you've got two side entry panels there on the side, as well as your ice axe clips on the front. And it does have an integrated helmet carry system. So you basically have this helmet carry that clips onto these four points there. Yeah, so if you want to open it up, we have this first top compartment that extends not super deep, but you get a little key clip in there, and that seems to be fully seam sealed. Our Terex logo up top. We also have 
the main compartment here, which is a roll top, which is pretty nice. I really enjoy that. So that opens up pretty far. And what we see inside is a dedicated Abbey gear pocket. So roll top closure, looking down to the bag, we have that Abbey gear pocket there by that red zipper. And I can't really think of a good way to show you guys, but it does have two slots for your probes, for a shovel, as well as anything else you may need. Besides that Abbey pocket, it's just your regular cylindrical design, top down. On the sides of this bag, you can see that this bag, I believe, supports A-frame ski carry. And then we have side entry into the Abbey gear pocket up there, and then side entry into the main pocket here. As far as support goes, we have this nice hard back plate that seems to support weight pretty well, although I haven't tried it out in the field or on the slopes. But same goes for these shoulder straps. All they seem thin, they're nice and light, and they're not that uncomfortable. As far as waist pads are concerned, we have these two waist pads here. One has a little loop if you want to attach any carabiners. The second has a little mesh side pocket. And these two waist pads are kind of attached right in the middle area there of the back panel. That's kind of my least favorite part of the bag as I've seen some negative reviews on that, but hopefully it holds up. Also, we have a whistle on the chest strap there as well as multiple positions to adjust it to different chest sizes. All right, guys, so I don't have everything, but I did grab my jacket because I realized after I finished the video that I didn't show you guys what the backpack looks like full on back, how it fits, that kind of important stuff. So I've got my, my jacket here, my shell. I don't have my snow bibs, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I've also got the row balaclava on. That's how it fits. It goes nice and far down, ends down over there. So that'll fit pretty good. I like how that fits. So without further ado, I'll show you guys the bag. All right, so full, this is what it'll look like. I can't speak for how it'll carry any weight because all I have right now in it is a bunch of like fleeces, some light stuff, so it's packing kind of nice and full. But yeah, that's how it looks full. Your side zips there, your back panel. Everything like that. Roll tops nice and tightly closed. Yeah. All right. Let's see this on back. All right. So let's buckle up these straps. We've got that nice ceramic strap there. I've adjusted for myself, as well as that right back there. You can tighten that up a bit. Now, the thing that would make this package better is if they had some clasps to kind of hold that belt in place. But besides that, I wasn't too sure on the padding on these shoulder straps of the hip belt, but feeling it now, kind of seeing how my arms rub with it, I don't mind it at all. So I'll give you guys a quick 360. That's what it looks like from the side, from the back, from the other side there, and from the front. You've also got a nice elastic side pocket on the side there. If you want to put any strip snacks there, I might put a Leatherman in there maybe. Fits a Leatherman nicely or on the other side you have a nice loop if you want to put any carabiners on there or you could fit a leather mat in there as well and just hang out there so yeah nice and multi-purpose you've also got a whistle on the sternum strap as well all right all right and there you have it guys that's my review on the 2022 arcteryx alpha sk32 as well as the arcteryx robini the grotto and the Arcteryx Adam LT. See you guys in the next one.